Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Uh, let us see the assignment questions. Which of the following statements is are true for designing complex digital systems? Here in designing complex digital systems, we are going to uh, partition the system into two parts. One is a complex system is partitioned into a data path and we are going to divide it into a control path. So data path will be having the uh, devices which require for the computation and control path will be controlling this data path. That's why here the answer is C. So in the next question it is asked which of the following types of functional units may be present in a data path. So the data path will be consisting of counters and uh, registers or registers. Clock clear reset signals are a part of control unit. So multiplexers, adder, other functional blocks can be present in data path. That's why answer will be A and C. So the next question here, which of the following set of components are the part of data path and control path for the hardware uh, hardware module multiplication by repeated addition which is discussed in lecture 25. Here the, you can observe the figure which is shown multiplication by repeated addition. Uh, here the data path will be consisting of register A, P, B and adder. Okay? And uh, that's why here the output of the comparator and the bus will be constituting a data path. That's why B can be the answer and control path will be consisting of the control pa path for this multiplication data path unit will be consisting of these all uh, signals that is load A, load B, clear P, uh, start done data in clock. These are the signals which is come under control path. That's why B and C can be the answers for this question. And then uh, the next question. Here the control path uh, signal generation in the multiplication example is discussed in this lecture 25 which is shown here the part of the code is shown and here S0, S1, S2, S3, S4 are the states and here we are uh, uh, looking at. So we need to find which of the following statements is are true about the generation. Here in this question, we can observe uh, all these input signals with respect to this multiplication is the functions which can be uh, realized using combinational functions. Okay, that's why answer can be A. And the next question, which is which of the following design style is are considered as a recommended approach for modeling data path and control path. So here in um, the design, we know that by using the clock triggered procedural block, we are going to change the state. That's why B is the correct answer here. And the next question, it is related to some timing with respect to the multiplication example. Here clock is initially it is zero and then for every 10 time minutes clock is going to be changed its state means clock will be generated like this for every 10 time minutes the clock will be changing its value that is what uh, here the meaning of these two right means clock will be started with 0 and after 10 time minutes it will be 1 and then 20 time minutes it will be 0 at 30 time minutes it will be 1 this is 40 this is 50 this is 60 70 like this it is going to uh, generate it and after three time minutes here the start signal is equal to one uh, let me take it as start signal after three time minutes it is one so after 23 time minutes here up to here the data in will be uh, unknown and after 23 time minutes data in will be loaded and the second value three will be loaded after 20 nanoseconds from here. Here 20 nanoseconds means 23 
here 23 plus 20 it is 43 after 43 time units means some way here we are going to get uh, the next data 5 will be loaded here uh, this 3 will be loaded here so the procedure is repeated addition so the uh, the first value will be 0 and then it will be 5 and then it will be again added with 5 so we are going to get 10 again it is 5 then it will be 15 so we are going to 15 after how many time minutes that is what the question is so we need to get 15 will be observed after dash clock periods with done signal indicating the end of computation so as per my calculation at 50 time minutes okay at 50 time minutes the output will be 0 at 70 time minutes the output will be uh, 5 so here it will be 10 so in the next clock cycle it will be 15 we are going to get 15 at this particular time so here it is 70 80 90 here it is 100 so this time minute will be 110 so uh, so the answer is 110 time rate so the next question is with respect to the gcd computation example so in the lecture 26 they have discussed gcd computation here which is which of the following signal are not part of the data path we need to find out which is not part of the data path here you can observe signal load a uh, which is the control path signal which is coming from the control path to the data path so this is not a part of data path and signal lt indicating the value stored in the register a this lt is the output of the comparator this is a part of data path and signal done again it is a uh, part of control path that is why answer may be A and C. And in the next question which of the following statement is are true about the two approaches for modeling GCD computation is discussed in lecture 26. The two approaches are discussed. Uh, the second approach is storing the two states means the previous state and the uh, sorry the present state and the next state. So it requires one more storage element that is why the approach second approach uh, requires more storage than the previous one may be the answer. So, B can be the answer here. 